The Pip-Boy 3000 was an indispensable part of Fallout 3 and New Vegas, but now designer Ashley Hennifer and her team have made an actual working model. Let's take a quick look. Pip-Boy 3000, part of your life. For the Space Apps Challenge, we decided to make a real-life Pip-Boy from the popular game Fallout. We have real-time mapping and the ability to see a heads-up sensor display. Uh, that data is then transmitted directly to a web HQ uh, in real-time so that someone can view that data. We're using a Texas Instruments BLE sensor tag, a homemade Geiger counter, and sending data to the device. I want one, you want one. I don't want the Geiger counter to go off at all, and I'm sure you feel the same. This opens up this... Okay, let's start with the obvious point. That is fucking awesome. It is sick. <laughs> and we can also judge how radiation, much radiation sickness I have. Yeah. So I, I, I think it's absolutely awesome. We're in an age of wearable tech, and uh, the bulk and the weight of that, I'm sure, is uh, probably just going to get smaller and smaller, but that is an impressive little... Uh, development there. I think it's super cool. I'm always excited when fiction, works of fiction, start to reflect in our reality. As we've yeah. talked about our sci-fi futurism thing. Oh, absolutely. And this uh, is another one. And the Pip Boy is, I mean, how many of us have played Fallout and you're just looking at that like, yes, I get it, my leg, it's screwed, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> no, oh, the other one's gone, okay. It's just, I, I I'm afraid I'd get mad at it if I wore it all the time just because I'd look down and but have flashbacks. But you're not facing all those problems, if hopefully. I do get, if, it, if I were to get like a dog biting me, would it update? <laughs> would should, it know like I'm getting injured? We should test it. So we should. Had an we've got a dog. That would be an awful reminder every time you check the time. Uh, yeah, I only got one leg now. Yeah, that's... but mine would probably blink. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> it's merely a flesh wound. I mean, that's a cool program itself. Um, and this takes us to an even another question, which is which fictional gadget from a video game would you like to have in real life since we've seen this one happen I want a portal gun I, <laughs> uh, the grab gun or a portal gun the grab gun would be great yeah I, because I'm lazy put, put one on each arm and just double fist it yes absolutely um, I also am a I don't know if it counts as a gadget but I'd love Mechasonic from Sonic CD I would I would reprogram him to be my little friend. Okay. Um, That's a nice sweet. little yeah. friend pet. Yeah. Or uh, a Mega Buster. Uh, Mega Man's Mega Buster uh, would be amazing. And if I could change its abilities the way you can in the game by beating up somebody, like if I could go in and beat up a barber and be able to cut really good hair with my Mega Buster, mm. that oh. would be great. Thinking outside oh, career the box, options. I like that. For yeah, you. exactly, exactly. You use the Mega Buster, you kill whoever it is, you get their abilities. So. If I go and use a Mega Buster to kill somebody who's really talented at magic, I should be able to do magic. And then you'll be the king of the magic castle. Yeah, I don't think anybody's thought of that <laughs> aspect of the Mega Buster before. It's like, no, no, use the Mega Buster to kill them and you'll get their abilities. <laughs> well, I just want to go to the moon and fire my portal gun there. But also, like, you could use it for lots of other things, like travel and bothering people. I think... I think I would, you just want the computerized friend that comes with the portal gun. I, I don't want GLaDOS <laughs> because she is mean and she will p be mean about my weight and my parental situation and she's I a potato. I think she's just trying to help you become a better person. I don't need that, thank you. I need positive reinforcement. Tim? I think I would definitely really hurt myself with a portal gun. I should not be trusted with a portal gun. Well, you <laughs> need to... You I, in fact, that's why I want Borderlands 2 Hyperion Make You Alive Again. Station. Oh. I think I would have a lot more fun the new if I could just pay station. the new you. Yep. And if that's not available, I think I would have a lot of fun with a Titan. But wouldn't you feel? But only if I had the only one. The only Titan. The only Titan. Then because if would, there's other Titans running around, mine could explode. The military would come after you, like get that guy. Not with my Titan. I would love a Halo dropship with a fully loaded Warthog. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking. The, oh, those are. But that's basically the model of super like I would space take, marine. I would take a Ghost over a Warthog though. I feel I feel like the new <laughs> you raises existential questions. As, yeah, as to, is that really you? You are. What is you that are for corpse the body? The Apes, aren't you? Yeah. You just don't want to don't want to die. I also sort of want the sky hook, and oh, well, I need an infrastructure for that. I well, let's do it. Okay, Bill, so sky rails everywhere for the sky hook. Yes. Great. I I would cut my face off with a sky hook. I would just, I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd probably cut off the faces of all my loved ones <laughs> on accident. I, I don't like the way weird. you said on accident. <laughs> <laughs> I was inching over to you because he, uh, no. No, we're both insane. Right here in the middle. Yay. Me and you guys, just us. 
All right. Wow. So what do you think of one, the Pip Boy becoming real? And what gadgetry have you seen in a video game that you would like in real life and you can trust yourself with? I don't think any of us can be trusted, but tell us what you think below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.